So I'm just continuing now into the right into the very foreground. Big sweep through the large height brush. Bit of light red in there just to add a bit of interest. It's mainly the, the grassy colours starting with lemon yellow ultramarine. And then just adding a little bit of light red and raw sienna just to brighten it up a little bit. I'm just going to dry it all over now with the hair dryer. Now I've just took the uh, three quarter inch flat, just damped it slightly and now I'm just going to take out some buildings just by rubbing the damp brush on the paper and, and then taking the uh, paint off with a tissue. So I'm just going to stick a little one there in the back. Put another one here over here on the left hand side. And then some bigger buildings as we come right into the foreground. But you can see why I put those dark trees where they are because it obviously it helps with the contrast with the lighter buildings. I'll just add one more right there in the back. And then I'll, these are just some chimneys that I'm adding in. Just going to strengthen that foreground area a little bit. Give it a slightly darker, darker tone to it. Bit of light, a bit heavy that light red. So I'm just going to tone it down again. I've got to put some little windows on that building, on the buildings, but I'm just going to wait until it's until it's dried first. So I'm just going into the foreground with um, a plastic card just scraping out a few rocks and stones and whatever, just add a little bit of interest bit of, create a bit of depth try not to do too many
Now that sky area looks a bit weak, so I'm just re-wetting it right down to the hills. Now because it's dry, I've re-wet it, so the, the paint already on there should be okay. Now I'm just going to try and, I'm going back over the top of it now, just try and strengthen it up a bit. Because like I said before, the, the darker you can make the clouds, the, the lighter, that, that lighter area in the middle will seem. So I'm going back into the sky colours, which was the um, alizarin crimson, Pines grey, ultramarine, and just trying to get some really dark cloud in there now, just to bring that lighter area out more. I'm just going to use a tissue just to try and uh, put a bit of cloud, just to break break it up a little bit, I suppose. Try to put a bit of texture into the clouds. The sky, at least the sky looks a little bit more dramatic now, it creates a bit more interest. Now those buildings are dry, I'm just going to stick some uh, just some little windows in. I mean I've used the, the flat there, it's easier if you just use the rigger. Because if you press too hard... You you, you end up with great big massive windows that look like doors especially on those distant ones so easy to make them too big like I said, I should have used the number three rig for those I think we're just about done. Another completed painting. Back to the rig and some dark paint just to put the signature in and that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.